top health hacks to try out immediately. Number one, wake up. I say wake up naturally, no alarms, no electronic devices. And don't stress about doing it, just do it if and when you want to. Sleep when you're tired and wake up when you're rested. Simple, right? Yeah, it is, or at least it should be. But look how many challenges we create for ourselves by not doing it. Look at all the stress that comes from trying to outsmart our bodies, rather than work with them. And for what? We all know how good it feels to go to bed on Friday night, knowing that we get to sleep in on Saturday morning. It's wonderful. Just the thought of it makes us smile. So why don't we do it every night? Why don't we surrender to sleep when our body tells us, stay sleeping as long as it needs, and wake up when it naturally wants? Because it's not realistic? Because it's not practical? Actually, it is very realistic, very practical, and what's more, it's very sensible. It took quite a story to convince us otherwise. Imagine going to bed every night with a feeling of abundance rather than scarcity. Imagine getting all the sleep you need. Do you really think that abundance would not carry over into the rest of your day? Perhaps the resistance to this idea, writing it off because you think it is impossible, is indicative of how far you've actually strayed. Sure, you might have to make some other life changes in order to make this one happen, but by changing the way you wake up, you might actually wake up. Number two, cold shower and or polar plunge after getting out of bed. Cold water is a game changer. It wakes you up better than coffee or tea and provides huge health benefits. It is a natural stimulant to the sympathetic nervous system. It increases alertness, reduces inflammation, circulates blood and lymph, accelerates your metabolism, enhances your immune function, and speeds recovery. Cold water is a good spiritual practice. You can think about it all you want. You can stand in the shower with your hand on the knob, or dip your toe in the water in procrastination, but eventually, you just have to do it. You have to turn off your mind and jump in. Cold showers get you fun comfortable first thing in the morning, reinforcing the daily habit of going outside your comfort zone, because that's where all the growth takes place. And if you don't have what it takes to practice being fun comfortable in the comfort of your own home, what business do you have being fun comfortable in front of a crowd? How will you lead others to grow if you can't lead yourself? Number three. I want to give, oh Lord, I want to give, so I can live.